What is it, guys? Welcome back to some more Outer Worlds. I'll be honest with y'all. Um, the Mantisaurs, yeah. That Mantis Queen, yeah. We're not fighting that. No, no, we're we're gonna fight it for entertainment purposes. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine. That's my gun. If you were wondering, we don't take kindly right. to marauders. Wasn't wondering. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. <laughs> I take it you ain't met the other C3s. C3s? Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more deep day? Oh, uh, audio cuts. talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast. By the edge of the mountain. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. Alright. Let's go talk to her boss man, because I could use her to get rid of. How the fuck do I... I think it's over. Whatever. Okay, no, that was a lot of them. Where did they say it was? That is a lot of them, bro. The C3 Mercenary Company is stationed southeast of the Devil Peak Station. Southeast. So is it this? It's gonna be that. Yeah, we're getting help. We're not fighting all those guys by ourselves. That means those god dang mantisaurs though. Please let this be it. Thank God. How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut shotting you. Wow. The thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerged from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right, first things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm gonna need to know what your role in your organization is. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder, what are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. Well, that's all well and good, but the reason you've come 
is secondary to the arbitration at hand. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. This is stupid. Can we as a standing policy provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm. But I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity... Lost time? ...to this arbitration, you could pass. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on I'm not paying it, nobody. I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. Yeah. All right. Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say he's clear to go. No, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know, our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later. Once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man. Founder, president, and CEO. Birdie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. That was the guy standing. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although, he should have been back. Going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. <laughs> no. Space no. The contract doesn't target C3s. How do we enforce it otherwise? A might cold blooded, ain't he, Donald? Done. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Whatever you find. Bring him back to us, okay? Went into this cave. Plasma cutter. No. No. That was definitely him. Get up there. Did you need to choose the me the mega? Why do you need to choose this part? Why? I'm not moving. That was close as shit. Can you fucking move?
Is it doing this shit on purpose? It's not moving, guys. Fucking leave. Whoa. You're a bitch. I have to kill it. gonna take on the marauders yeah <laughs> he's dying I can't I can't save him I did no damage bro I did no damage I can't save his ass I did the best I could we saw it we saw it that thing has too much health it's too tanky it throws fire Nah. It throws fire, okay? I didn't expect it to throw fire, too. Talk about, some, talk about some mega. Yeah, this ain't Pokemon, bro. We're not dealing with that. This is perfect. So both in both in the same way it looks like. It did no damage, guys. So 
it did no damage. to level up in order to beat it. Why? Alright, we got it. I'm going to ask what he said. So you can jump down and help us fight? Is that what? That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's a torso. And that'll be your legs over yonder. Never mind. I'm Bertold. No, honestly, it's kind of fuck you, though. What are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? Time I was thinking, please don't see me. Oh, law, I don't want to die. Nah, nah, nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Means they're still holding the post, then. Good. You might head on back. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way once I've gathered up Constance's parts. I don't like you, bro. Like, I really, I really. I didn't realize how many people were around. The, I, I was more focused on the queen that, you know, I didn't realize it. I admit, this pistol has come in handy. I definitely need the freaking backup to take on the Marauders. So it it, it, it all worked out, but I, I wish I had leveled up, you know? And I can get the companion thing. Or if I just got a fear of something. Give me new perks. you made it in one piece after all not everyone's so lucky meet my corporate compliance crew 
Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the Marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive until the payment's cleared. Yeah, you have the laziest merc crew. We recommend that the client safeguard himself. So I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them. Clear any hostels on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the stick units, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Thunder. Okay. First, select the item you wish to upgrade, and then choose what type of mod you wish. All right, here we go with mods. Looks like today's a day. How much damage can this keep going for? I don't think I need this one anymore, not gonna lie. And I definitely don't need you now that I got this one. So we can modify the armor, huh? Let's see. What does this do? Whose armor was that? That was mine. Oh, that was ne ne Neoza. It's not what I wanted. 
Oh, I can just keep using it. All right. We robbing the shit out of boys. Damn it. Oh, I just added the junk. junk we'll, we'll figure it out at some point let's do this shit let's get this shit let's hmm why is it two now I'm missing something find a way to open the main doors So is she going to help me fight her, or I have to sneak in there first? That shotgun has no... There you are! Bossman said you'd be up this way. I always wanted him. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Don't nobody fucking kill her. will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. You're a okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday. Yeah, go get yourself killed, please. his ass up. I mean, 
everything worked out in the end, and I guess that's really all that matters. And this gun right here. Boy, don't you ever try to don't you ever try to run like that again. I really don't need, know what I needed some of that junk for, so... Saving the mag picks. You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me face to intercom. Hold on, Brody, you just remembered. Yeah, I can get that shit now, right? Socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, 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 no. We'll deal with information related business <clears throat> later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead, and since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that, aside from you. the broadcast center but i can only hold out for so long clear the marauders out and i'll pay you double the going rate they destroy the transmission equipment and i'll be out of business the elevator and doors to the second floor are back online hurry before i have to lock them down again aside from the bids i'll be paying you you said you wanted something for me something information related i'll give it to you in person once I'm sick. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job permanently. Right. No fucking way. I'm about to say. For a second, I thought he wanted me to fucking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh wait, these are my boys. These are my boys. Yeah, y'all go handle them, all right? You shouldn't die. Making sure. Yeah, give me all that shit. Oh, we should have enough mag picks now. Take that boy's money. Don't remember where I came in from. Definitely didn't come in from here. I'm just taking everything, bro. I gotta increase the sensitivity again. Bro got it disintegrated. Jesus Christ. This is where we came in from. Or this is where we came in from. What the hell is this? It's traveling outside. That's how they got in. Upstairs. It's crazy ass lag that we all just saw. Wasted's not gonna not acknowledge that shit. We all saw it. Second. Oh. Getting somewhat of what of what I'm owed. Can sell this shit. Man. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Hmm, yes, I believe I do. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued yes. service rendered. Yes. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. 
Some folks don't look hard being a purveyor of delicate information. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Caring or not won't change the facts of the matter. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. The bandwidth! There's too much blasted background noise. Nothing gets through but their local broadcasts. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Hmm. No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Do what you like. Just don't tell me about it after. I enjoy sleeping at night. Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Ask me what you will. Not much, admittedly. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well, that's a raptodon of another color. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source, but I am also not unconvinced either. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. How low you seemingly regard my trade. Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. Damn it, I didn't... Whoa, why is all my shit down? No, this this is not making sense. Because I have that helmet on. No. Phobic. Oh, I have phobias for that now. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's do more science. Cancer said ability to go on a bit of the use.
How does she level up way higher than you? I really could do him like that. MK2, huh? <laughs> Phone in my face, not her screen. Oh. kidding me better search this whole place no stone goes unturned on Wasted's fucking watch until his dog starts barking for no reason then Wasted feels like ah oh, fuck good thing we're not doing anything right now is joy oh I l completely missed that wow all right bro where are we headed oh, we're probably just gonna end the episode once we're done searching Are they all? Oh, I should have looted them before I went in. What? Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next.